I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story, and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. What is up, summoners? Welcome to the channel today. Thanks for stopping by. I have been a little bit behind this week, been busy at work, have not been able to put out a lot of content, and ultimately have not been able to get to 5.2 very quickly. I just finished running through it uh, late last night, Friday night, and I guess it was Saturday morning technically, it's about 12 o'clock when I finished it. But um, I recorded my very first attempt at the Collector. This is the very first time that I've seen him here with Beast. And I'm going to run in Beast and Mordo first just for testing purposes. Wanted to test Beast with his acrobatic form. To see how many hits you could get on him before it would push him into a special bar of power. But uh, yeah, forgot about uh, forgot, <laughs> forgot about Bane. So yeah, the timing on that wasn't great. I, I think actually Beast in acrobatic form could probably do between about 15 and 20,000 damage uh, reliably if you timed Bane better. Um, but yeah, that was that was a test um, and also uh, just kind of a warm up to, to feel him out a little bit. Um, secondly, Mordo, I wanted to test, and this is only a rank 4 character, so this was nothing really all that serious, but I know that uh, when you block with Mordo uh, for half a second, he is able to block unblockable specials. So I was just curious to see how this would work, and, and obviously it does work here, but uh, he's just taking so much damage. But I, I think that what this kind of signifies is if you've got a 5-star Mordo, especially if he's awakened, taking less energy damage, uh, if you boost him up, he probably could survive one or two of those special ones. Uh, and if you can get a bunch of abilities built up on the Collector and uh, dump a Soul Barb on him along with Bane, you probably uh, you probably could do quite a bit of damage with him. But again, that's all kind of theory. Then ultimately, I take in Vision for the first time. This is obviously the character uh, that I, I plan on using for most of my fighting. Uh, he'll be the one that I revive, keep bringing back in. And really, I think the aggressive tendencies of the Collector and, and really all the characters in this uh, in 5.2.6 actually make it easier to intercept uh, because pretty much every time that you get up from a special, you can dash forward and catch them. And then pretty much every time, as soon as you evade back, and you can come forward and catch them as well because they're always kind of coming at you. Uh, right there, I, I just screwed up the timing a little bit, but really uh, quite happy for my first run through. I think that was a total of like 40, 42 hits or something like that. 32. I don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, it was, was a lot more than I was expecting it to be. I wasn't sure if I'd be able uh, to, to kind of match me getting one bar of power at the same time uh, that the collector is getting one bar of power. There's just a lot to, to keep track of here because you're, you're trying to make sure that you don't push him into a bar of power without having the power drain. You're also trying to stay aggressive uh, and continue to hit him so that you can keep Bane away from yourself. Especially at the beginning of the fight there. It just does so much damage to you when you have it. But uh, here, uh, here I'm feeling pretty good. This is my second fight in. I'm already in a really, really good rhythm. Um, but as you will see here, unfortunately, once he goes down, uh, I think it's like at 55% or something like that. It lowers your ability accuracy, I believe. And what you'll see here is I go for the S1 power drain. Uh, to keep my chain going, and I do not get the power drain, uh, which really sucks because I, I was feeling really good, was in a groove, uh, but but ultimately I actually get a few more hits in here. Uh, I'm kind of playing on, on borrowed time. I was expecting him to use the S2 at any point, actually got to an S1 to be able to power drain him, and thought at this point that I might just be able to get to another S1, but didn't get the intercept there, and he kills me, but I think that one was 68 hits. But uh, for the second time running with Vision, I will uh, I will definitely take that. From this point moving forward, though, uh, this is really where kind of the, the major issues for me in this fight come into play. Um, I, I, I probably have an unpopular opinion in that I actually really like this fight. Um, it, it's very purpose-built. Obviously, if you have AOU Vision or OG Vision, those are by far the best champions for this fight. But I kind of like the skill-based... Uh, fight if you have those characters, you know you've got to you got to have your intercepts on point. Uh, you can play around Bane, you can get him from getting specials, but you cannot play around. Uh, you you can't play around that unstoppable ability. So I I keep throwing units at bringing Vision in here. Uh, I did attempt to use I think a couple of my other champs. You saw his his life go down a little bit between the Vision fights, but ultimately if you've played with anybody else, you know as soon as that Degen hits you, it's it's pretty much game over. But uh, yeah, this, this small portion of his health I'm trying to get through takes forever. 
just because he keeps going into his unstoppable ability. You're talking like, you know, between 5 and 10 hits typically, and he goes unstoppable, and there's nothing you can do about it. It happens in the middle of a hit, and he, he takes you out. Um, I think that was like the fourth, I think fourth fight in a row. This one, I think, is my favorite. I think this one, I go for the intercept. I actually get the intercept, but he goes unstoppable in the middle of an intercept. Yeah, right here. I hit him with the intercept. He goes unstoppable at the exact same time and kills me. And and I really hate that because it kind of spoils what otherwise would be a really epic fight uh, if you didn't have that unstoppable ability. But I don't know. I kind of wish it was actually tied to his special so you could you could keep him from getting to a special, keep him from getting to that. But uh, I don't know. Outside of that, I really shouldn't complain. For that being my very first attempt at the Collector, I think I only spent, uh, what, five revives, I think, on Vision. Um, so maybe five or six, I don't know. Really, ultimately, it really wasn't that bad. I shouldn't complain. But definitely, uh, Vision is the way to go. Uh, you know, kind of like how Magic was the, was the number one champ for the Bautista event. Vision is going to be the number one champ for taking Collector down. I can, I can guarantee you that already. But, uh, yeah, definitely look forward uh, to fighting him again moving forward. I think I'm only going to get better, be able to do longer combos there. But, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys have done up against the Collector. Let me know if you found any other solutions, uh, really viable solutions outside of Vision. Would love to hear all of that. Ultimately, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a money grab. It just kind of is what it is. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. I, the rewards, I wish they were better, but that's a discussion for another day. We'll just kind of focus on the collector here. All right, guys, until I see you in the next video, have a great weekend.